What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my Teeny Tiny Automotive channel here. Today I'm back on the Mondial. If you haven't been following along or you're new, I've got an 82 Ferrari Mondial and it's a pretty sick little car. It's pushing 409 horsepower. It's got modern fuel injection, uh, updated ignition. It's got a turbo. It's, it's just a cool little gated Ferrari. And the plan today is to get the brake fluid completely flushed out of the car. And I'm also gonna kind of review uh, this little brake bleeding kit. Now I have tried other kits. I tried the one from Harbor Freight and here's a, a quick review on that one. It's junk. Uh, this one seems to be a little better quality. I don't know, but we will find out together. This is the brake booster and master cylinder on the Ferrari Mondial. It's pretty nasty, dirty, and it's definitely uh, definitely time to change that out. So that's what we're gonna work on and hopefully things go well, hopefully things go smooth. Fingers crossed. If you've never seen inside the frunk of a Ferrari Mondial, it's, you know, there's quite a bit of room and there's, you know, the ability to work on stuff up here, which is neat. Now, your spare tire is gonna slip down in here. That's what takes up this space. But if you don't wanna run a spare tire, then you've got a ton of room to put extra stuff. And you've got trunk in the back. This car has been updated with an aluminum radiator, dual fans, keeps this thing nice and cool. This thing just, it runs so well. It's a lot of fun to drive. Got 348 wheels. It's lowered on coilovers. It's a pretty sick little car. Like you can literally daily drive this car. It's usable. You know, if you need to run errands and put stuff in the trunk or whatever, take your family. It's a four seater. You can do everything with this car. If you are looking to get into the Ferrari market, now's the time to do it because this is the last affordable, if you will, Ferrari especially with a gated manual transmission. You know, if you want something that's fun to drive and is going to make money, it's an investment, start looking at the Mondials. This is what a stock engine bay would look like on an 82 Ferrari 308. This is the two valve motor. And this is my Magnum PI car. Woohoo! Same exact two valve motor, but you can actually see around it because all of the emission stuff and all that Bosch fuel injection stuff has been removed. I mean, look how much room there is. You know, somebody can actually get in here and work on this car, but look how much cleaner it is with all that stuff gone. It's just so much nicer to look at. I'm 0 for 1 using these bleeder gun things. Fingers crossed that this one actually works because it's such a pain to have to call somebody else out to sit in the car and pump the brakes and all that stuff. and. I'm hoping this makes my life easier. This is the kit that I bought. I got it at AutoZone, made by OEM Tools. The premise is you're supposed to be able to hook this up to your bleeder valve and pump it up. It creates a suction and pulls the fluid from your reservoir all the way through the lines into this little cup right here. I'm not sure when the last time these bleeder valves have been cracked open, so we're gonna hit them with a little PB blaster. Yeah, we're just gonna spray that right in there. Little squirts. QA1 coilovers, very nice. Same back here, QA1 coilovers, very nice. The other thing to mention about this car and just like the 308 is you can actually work on this engine without taking it out of the car. You just remove these inner panels and you have access to, well, this would be what's considered the back side of the engine. The front side's gonna be on that side where the timing belts are, but you can access all this. Here is what you get. You've obviously got your little gun or whatever they wanna call it. Got your plastic bottle with some tubes and some O-rings in there. A bunch of other fittings over here in this pile and you've got I think it said two feet of uh, this clear tubing yep there we go this goes over the bottle hopefully I have this hooked up correctly I'm going to I guess build up some pressure maybe or maybe not 
and then crack this line and we'll see what happens. I'm not getting any pressure. Let's get that working. All right, I got some figuring out to do. So this tool may be absolute junk as well. I cannot get it to hold or even pull a vacuum. It's only done it twice actually, but it only went up to like five pounds. Yep, that's just the most I can get so far right there. That's about what, two and a half pounds? I don't know what's going on or why it's doing this, but that's it. That's all I can get out of this thing. OEM tools, are you just making crap tools? Is that what's going on here? Cause I got, look at that. I'll be here all day long. It is not pumping up. What a piece of crap. Now I'm gonna chalk it up. Maybe it's just this one. Maybe this one is just defective. Of course I get the defective one. That always happens. But uh, I'm gonna take it back to AutoZone and try to swap it out for another one and we'll see what happens. I got my car up on the lift. Everything's sitting out in the yard, just ready to go. And then this tool is just absolute junk. I had to waste time leaving pack everything in the garage, close the garage, go to AutoZone and return that pile of crap. Now, I went directly across the street. Thankfully, there's an O'Reilly's literally across the street from the AutoZone and they had this. At first, when I saw it, I was like, oh man, another crap one. But I noticed this is actually made by a different company. Same exact looking piece, different company. And this time I used my head because before I left the store, I opened this thing up and I got this thing out. Right away, I could actually tell it, it felt a little bit different, like it was a little bit heavier than the other one, whatever. But I grabbed me one of these handy dandy little tubers and I put my finger over it and I tested it. Look at that. Hey, it actually works. Hold on, it's gotta be a fluke. Nope. How about that? A product that actually works from O'Reilly's. Same exact cost, it was like 43, 44 bucks. Um, but now I can probably finish the job that I set out to do. So let's get back to that. I took my little suction tool, sucked all the fluid out of the reservoir up front. Then I came back here. I'm starting with the passenger rear farthest away. I just pulled the bleeder valve completely out and put it on the bench uh, wire grinder and cleaned it up. I'm gonna do that to all four of them. Make sure everything is nice and clean and shiny. Make sure everything blows through easily. Put it back in. Then I will fill the reservoir, hook up my little suction tool and start pulling new fluid into the lines. Hey, look at that, it's working now. Just need to figure out the right way to kind of set this thing up. I need three hands. Everything was going all right, but this side is giving me problems. We have an issue. I think that something, there's dirt or something maybe in the caliper or in this line. I'm not sure. So I'm going to break it apart up there and probably blow some air through here to see if this part is clogged first and start here and kind of work my way back. But what's happening is I'm putting a suction on this to draw new fluid and I'm not getting anything. I'm at you know, 25 pounds and there's nothing coming out of here. And I know that this piece right here, this bleeder valve is good because I took it out and cleaned it and blew through it and everything is good here. So it's gotta be somewhere in this line or in the caliper, but I'm not getting anything out of it. And that ain't good. Well, I've eliminated the hose. That's definitely not a problem. If there was something in there, it's not anymore because everything blows free. So we're gonna put this back in. This part is good. I'm gonna try to get a little air up in that line and just gently blow back through the line and we'll see what happens with that. I uh, finally got the back line clear of whatever was in there, but look at this. I just pulled this from the front passenger side. It almost looks like there's water or something mixed in it. I mean, that's definitely not full brake fluid. I haven't seen that before. Not like that. That's no good. I'm gonna keep going. I have finally finished. I just decided it was just a waste of my time to keep going around with this little pumper tool. It could have been that the hose that was going on to the actual bleeder valve was getting an air leak, but I kept seeing bubbles and it was just driving me nuts. So I just went back to the old tried and true method. I had my wife come out and step on the pedal and pump it for me and 
voila, I was done in like, I don't know, five minutes where I wasted an hour or maybe more doing it the other way. Lesson learned, I guess. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the tool. The tool does what it's supposed to. And, you know, I'm sure I'll use it again or, uh, you know, or use it on another project for something else because it does a couple different things. If you're gonna buy one of those tools, get the one from O'Reilly. It's called Performance Tool. It looks the same, but it is actually a better quality. So now I gotta get everything cleaned up. I'm gonna get the wheels back on and we'll take this thing for a, a quick putt around the neighborhood and keep our fingers crossed that I'm able to stop. Look, it's not uh, black fluid anymore. How about that? Nice and clean. That's the way we like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, that's it for this one um, so what did I learn well I learned that the AutoZone tool is crap the one from O'Reilly is much better and I learned actually doing it the old-fashioned way with someone in the car I think that's just a better way of doing it uh, hopefully you learned something about the tool and which one to get and which one not to get and not the tool on camera a few more things left on this car and it should be dialed in you know once it's done I'm gonna do another video and show everybody, hopefully, new headliner. I, it, I feel like this is gonna really change the car once this is redone. I hope it'll come out really nice. I have an idea of what I want it to look like. If you like kind of this stuff that I'm working on, these old Ferraris, I've got a DeLorean that I'm doing an LS swap on and got an old Fox body wagon that I'm playing with, that kind of stuff. If you're just a guy that tinkers in his garage and likes watching another guy tinker in his garage and occasionally screw up, then hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. Stay hungry, stay foolish.